While United States were dealing with elections, on my channel the winner was determined by your votes, Nike Air Rachi. And it's not a surprise at all, as these sneakers have been popular for so many years, and in 2016 it's a 25th anniversary. The idea of Urachi came from Nike brand designer Tinker Hatfield, after he has mentioned how a neoprene water skiing socks literally hug the foot. Hatfield has realized that by using this material, trainers can be better individually adjusted to the foot, be more comfortable and hard faring Sketching the model, the designer was thinking about the fixing way of the neoprene sock and he has created a special heel fixing system as sandal straps, something like heel external skeleton. That's why the model name is Urachi, the way the Mexicans call the sandals. It's interesting that after Urachi launched the primary sales were too low. Only 50 pairs were sold, so Urachi product was frozen until Nike marketing director Tom Archie has decided to change the situation. He took 5,000 Urachi trainers to New York Marathon with the intention to sell them at Nike booths. It was a challenging idea, but no guts, no glory. Tom Archie sold all the trainers. Since that moment, Urachi were quite popular and have shown the result of turnover as 250,000 pairs. And the next year, half a million pairs. Can you believe it? So let's start. You might take it for granted that authentic shoes always have a box with a logo, big or small, and with an informative sticker on it. The box color varies, but Nike Air Urachi used to have red packing. So, firstly, you need to check the model name, its size, and scan a barcode on the informative sticker. On this box all the data is correct and the barcode works. On another box the model name is incorrect, Air Max, and the barcode is just a painting. One more thing that you can also do is to check in Google the model code. First six digits are model number, the last three identify a color. The first code gives us images of needed trainers. The second one demonstrates Air Max. Seems like a seller has made a model of boxes, so let's go further. Are you ready to unbox? As you can see, two pairs look the same. Let's examine them closer and check the tidiness and the color uniformity. Look here. Do you see these orange spots? It's disgusting, isn't it? Moreover, I can detect fake shoes with eyes closed by this tiny piece on the toe and on the heel. You can see and even feel it. And one more negligent sign. The sole protector is flat on the authentic pair and humpy on a fake one. The trainers are done of mesh, textile and synthetic leather upper for breathability and lightweight support. And the mesh pattern differs. On real, each cell is bigger, in general it looks like a comb. On fake, cells are smaller and remind a medical gauze. For a thermal comfort and an attractive look, some of the details are perforated on the authentic pair but fake doesn't have any perfection. On the tongue you'll find a traditional Urachi logo, and it looks the same on both pairs. So we need to look inside. Here you will find an informative patch with a barcode, so scan it by a proper application available on the Internet. And also you shall check the 9-digit code, which must be the same as on the box. This pair has the same code which gives correct images. And another pair code 
forward us to the list of Asian online retailers with a fake leader Taobao in top. Insole logos also differ. The authentic version of 2015 and 2016 has just a swoosh. Fake also has lettering Nike Air. When I take the insole out, I see that their thickness is absolutely different. This is the main difference between real and a ripoff that was hidden so gently. Be aware of it. Irachi are the first Nike trainers without the special heel insertion. Nevertheless, the heel has a good shape while the heel of a fake is rolling. As official producer says, that special rubber sole was done for a good traction and fake producers are perfectly imitating it. As you can see, the sole is virtually the same, except the color of details. All the insertions in authentic pair are gray, in fake pair – white. By the way, you can easily adjust the shoe slicing in this model by using this additional embedment. The authentic pair will cost you from 100 to 120 dollars, depends on the region where you are. A fake price is 45 dollars. Yeah, the price difference is huge, but at the same time, items almost look the same. If we talk about technologies and comfort, then it's getting clear why it's worth to pay 100, not 45 dollars, as a knockoff has just an appearance in nothing else. Thank you for watching, leave your request below in comments, and don't forget to subscribe! See you! Bye!